Welcome back, everybody. You're taking a live look outside as the sun is setting in southern Colorado. This is Pueblo, thanks to our Southwest Motors camera, and that sun sure was good to us today. It felt good, it was warm, it was sunny, but soon we're going to need to bust out the winter coats and bundle up again. Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Nick Carter is here. And Nick, when are we going to have to bundle up again? Uh, Later, later, later. We got to think about the holiday weekend first. Did a beautiful shot from our ABBA Eye Care Colorado Springs camera. Should be Sunwear camera because of this brilliant, like a welder's torch sunset. But yes, we will be talking about the winter clothing. We may need some shovels too because we are talking about snowfall. The only good out of that is it's beneficial moisture and it's going to be stretched out over a several day period of time during the midweek. But first of all, let's talk about how great it is. And if you've got Monday off, let's talk about how much greater it's going to be tomorrow and the fact that it's not going to be too bad on Monday as well. These are the current temperatures right now over the Palmer Divide in southeast Colorado. Pueblo's at 61 degrees. It was Lamar that got up to 67 earlier today. We're sitting at 55. Same for Fort Carson. Manitou Springs at 51. A little colder up at Woodland Park at 38. And Florissant's uh, current temperature around 40. Most of the mountain locations enjoying a lot of sunshine. The skiers and snowboarders had a great time too. And if you like doing that, that kind of stuff we get some really good news some of the snow headed our way is really going to be bearing parts of the central and southern high country right now 55 and the winds they're light they're out of the east at nine miles per hour but they're going to get a little stronger tonight so if you're stepping out make sure you got that winter coat because our temperatures are going to be well below freezing satellite and radar time lapse very quiet for much of the nation but look up yar up towards seattle portland See that band of clouds that's starting to move in? That's the first wave of extremely cold air that's heading southeast. It's going to be drawing a bullseye right over central Colorado over the next 48 hours. This is what our future cast is showing. This is an area of snowfall, another Pacific storm system. This is going to be kind of a one, two, three punch of several waves of extremely cold air that will be hitting us towards midweek. The snowfall itself, because it's coming in from the northwest, isn't all that much of the story with this next surge of cold air. It's the cold where we talk about daytime temperatures only in the single digits to low teens. Yes, there will be some snow, but I think most of the moisture is going to be up in the high country. And when it's so cold, too, there isn't as much moisture in the atmosphere. So we don't really necessarily talk about as much uh, accumulation as far as that's concerned. But again, our future cast, this whole area in lavender, violet, bitter cold, violet, that's the cold air that's heading our way. But if you're stepping out tonight and what we're looking at for the next 24 hours, temperature is going to get down below freezing right around midnight, but then it's going to recover just in time for tomorrow, and it won't be too bad all around. Low temperature 20s, mid to upper 20s for us. 27 seems to be a popular number around the greater metro area. And then tomorrow we get to do it again with those high temperatures in the 60s. And in Pueblo, you're probably going to hit 67 degrees, which is really kind of nice. But as far as our forecast going for the next seven days, let's talk about Tuesday and Wednesday, where the daytime temperatures for Woodland Park reach the mid teens. Overnight, the low temperatures are going to be below zero. Too early to be calling for snowfall amounts, but Woodland Park, you're probably going to get about six to eight inches of snowfall by Thursday when everything starts to move out. But we keep those temperatures at or below freezing for the rest of the week. Canyon City 61 for tomorrow, Monday, President's Day 55, 20s for daytime temperatures for midweek and light snow each day. Pueblo's high temperature tomorrow, 67. Oh, what a great place to be for tomorrow. Monday's high. And if you've got the day off Monday, make the best of it. 57, getting kind of windy in the evening. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, those daytime temperatures barely reaching the mid-20s and light snow each day. And that's what we're expecting here for Colorado Springs. In fact, Monday, probably going to reach only 48, and that's going to be around lunchtime. Then steadily falling temperatures with overnight lows near zero. For Tuesday and Wednesday, two to five inches of snow right here by Thursday. And then a chilly next weekend. West of I-25 could be more, and the central and southern mountains could get up to one to two feet of snow, if not more. Stay tuned. We'll give you more information as we get more uh, information right down in our weather center. Right now, back to you guys, Rob. All right. Thank you for that, Nick. Coming up.